Stop giving me tips because I'm about to kick your ass. All right, arms. Arms. I, the, I thought that was hilarious, that name. And at first, like, it was like, I thought it was going to be like, punch out. Neo. Yeah, exactly. And then it was like Fist Fighter DX. Exactly. And then it just says Arms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stupid. Oh, I wish they'd called it At Arms, which wish, is a phrase. Yeah, exactly. I wish yeah. they called Mario Platformer. <laughs> well, no, but then. Or Zelda <laughs> yeah. Adventure. Yeah, but they called the other one Milk. <laughs> yeah, they so. called it Milk. Yeah. <laughs> just, okay. Milk, Arms. Well, that's like naming Mar Mario Mario sixty four. That is a stupid name. Mario on the console, it is on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I uh, this one is the surprise hit for me. Uh, definitely, uh, and I think it was a surprise for many that this was. If you get the chance to play this, and I also look at this, I would get a bit of this guy's face. Oh, like, that's not me on the right. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> this is this is the uh, the who I like to affectionately call. The Nintendo bitch. <laughs> Do not, uh, <laughs> let's not be too hard on the guy. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mr. Nintendo bitch. <laughs> See, there's respect there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this was... Uh, he'd, uh, he'd been boasting about how he'd spent uh, several... I think it was up to six hours yeah. the day before practicing. And I was the first person to play this. Uh... And yeah, well, let's see how it plays out. Let's see how it goes for Mr. Six Hours Practice. Uh, but the controls are awesome. This is how oh, yeah. this is how we control should have been. Definitely, I feel that this is what the we could have been. This definitely is. It's it's almost like the original Wii controller was like it could tell if it was moving or if it wasn't moving. Yeah. And if it was moving, you did a thing. Uh, <laughs> exactly. As where this, it knows which way you're tilting it. Yeah. How hard you pushed. Uh, it was beautiful. It was insanely responsive. Uh, and that little bit of a paper, scissors, stone mechanic that they've got going, where if you are punching, then blocking will block punches, but they won't block grabs. Yeah. Uh, but punching will block a grab. Uh, Etc. Yeah. Uh, I know he looks so confident, so cool, calm. Well, yeah, he he I... he had all the right to be to be the devil's advocate here because he is within the only one in the this hemisphere that has played this game has, uh, in any way, shape, or form. Well, not hemisphere. I know. I suppose you could say no because they uh, they had the London one and the Paris one before us. So. With a just... good a good few hundred the miles Nordic radius. Area. Yeah. Exactly. The only guy in the Nordic area who knew how to play. He had all the rights to feel good about this. Until I came along. <laughs> uh, yeah. Stop giving me tips because I'm about to kick your ass. Slightly too proud of this. Yeah. <laughs> but then later on, we did see him basically going like absolutely zero restraint on a guy who was attempting to film and play while having a broken arm. Uh, and he was oh, so... Oh, was the entire arm? Yeah, it was, like, it was right up to the shoulder. The yeah. whole... Uh, yeah. uh, what's that thing called? Uh, cast. Yeah. The cast was all the way up to the elbow. So this guy couldn't... And he couldn't use his fingers properly because he couldn't grip it. And yeah, he was proud of himself. Proud of himself. Beating up a crippled man. Well... You're. What should he have? It let him win. Wouldn't that be condescending? Yes, he's a reviewer. You're supposed to go nice on people so they get a well, nice happy feeling. That would be so feeling, condescending. But they, yeah, but it sells games. <laughs> that guy is not gonna buy a copy of Arms, considering he he was playing a game called Arm. <laughs> <laughs> I was worth the pun. I'm not gonna yeah. argue that. <laughs> Oh, and this unleashing the fury. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me that story again? Because I still don't quite get it. Oh yeah, the Ingwe Malmsteen story. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, 
What's his name? You didn't know that he existed. That no. baffled me so much. Is he from a band or is he just a solo? No, he is a solo artist. He didn't need a band. He was a. He, he, if you search, no uh, band would have him. <laughs> if you search the guitar god, he will definitely be on any uh, list uh, you can possibly find. Uh, but he had a very famous meltdown on a plane where he, since he was extremely famous in the 80s and maybe a bit of the 90s uh, he made he, he, he got pissed on the plane when he was waking up by a flight attendant he, he was throwing a short clip of it here see you Tokyo bitch that's your fuck the hot the hot new job new job love new job love you release the fucking fury you release the Fucking fury! Forget about it. I was sitting here, and all of a sudden, this bitch comes and just fucking pours all this water over us. So he was slightly full of himself, but I guess I got the, to think of that story. It's a nice, it's a good story <laughs> of a guy at the top peak of his career who unleashed the fucking fury. <laughs> Okay, so this is round. So he he kicked, uh, he beat me up basically yeah. in the first one. Exactly. But I came back. <laughs> oh my god, did I come back? Uh, what I like about it, you see the, the fists are different shapes. But yeah, on you mine, can choose. Same, uh, you can choose fist. your uh, <laughs> your fist bending, <laughs> your appendage tip. Uh, and I, I just for the sake of uh, OCD and uh, synchronicity. Yeah, uh, I don't like picking different ones. Uh -huh. Well, he did. Oh, I did as well when I played. Um, but it, it doesn't feel because if you grab, it just feels weird. Yeah, maybe. But you, I just thought of something. You talked about letting other people win for to buy copies. Yeah. Maybe he got tired of, the, of that. Maybe he let you win. <laughs> thought about that. <laughs> yeah, I thought about that. But then I witnessed him beating up a crippled guy. Okay. Uh, who didn't have enough room to actually maneuver because he was trying to film it as well. He was oh, like, yeah. literally leaning against the wall with his other arm. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, I've got. Uh, it lost all of it. And then the thing is, as I was, uh, so I, I, I've, I've, yeah, this is the deciding round. Yeah. Uh, and afterwards, I walked away, uh, saying something like, "I crushed him." <laughs> uh, and then this woman goes, "He's my son." Yeah, uh, and I was like, "Oh, I really wanted to say it, but I didn't because I know this shit doesn't fly in Sweden." I was like, "You need a new son." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, get, you get competitive because you've got a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's not how I really feel. It would have just been a fantastic crushing pun. It would. Okay, do we have anything else to add? Only it's fucking awesome. Oh yeah, this is perfect. But I'm definitely gonna get this one. Yeah. Something. 